Okay, I've held my peace for as long as I can. But you seriously need to get off the couch and do something with your life. I can't sit by and let you spend all of my money. Have you found a job? You haven't exactly been holding your peace. You tell me every day about how much of a burden I am to you. Also, I don't sit on the couch all day. How dare you? After everything that I've done for you this last month. You haven't done anything for me. You haven't so much as boiled water or glanced at the broom since mom died. How dare you speak of her? I told you not to mention her. Why? It's good for us to talk about her. She's only been gone for like a month and a half. It doesn't even seem like you've mourned her at all. I don't have to explain myself to you. Yeah, you don't, but you're the parent. Shouldn't you at least care about how I'm dealing with everything? I'm not your father. Yeah, you're my stepfather. You made that abundantly clear. But you've been in my life for almost seven years. Shouldn't you care at least a little bit? Again, I don't have to explain myself to you. You're a kid. No. Actually, as of last month, I'm not. Well, you're still sitting on the couch, aren't you? You haven't done anything. You haven't lifted a finger to try and get a job. Do you know how expensive it is to take care of a kid? I already said I'm not a kid. I turned 18 a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, what do you have to show for it? You haven't got a job or your first paycheck. The bills are adding up, and it's hard not having a second income. You only care about money. Do you not care at all about the fact that I just lost someone very close to me? Honestly, it feels like you were fine after a day. Well, it's not my fault that I'm really good at processing things. You haven't even mourned her once. I highly doubt that you even cared. It's not like your marriage was a good one before she passed. Excuse me? Who do you think you are that you can talk to me like that? I'm your stepdaughter, and I've been your stepdaughter for over seven years. I just can't believe that you care so little. I care. Maybe I just don't show it the way that you want me to show it. Now quit stalling and tell me whether or not you have a job. I've circled how many ads in the paper. I don't want an office job. I never have. That's what I've been working towards throughout my entire high school career, making sure I don't end up in a dead-end job. How dare you insult me? Insult you? I wasn't insulting you. I was just saying how we don't want to work a 9-to-5 job. That doesn't mean I was insulting you. Oh, really? Because I work in an office. So it sounds like you're saying that you don't want to be like me. Okay, fine. I don't want to be like you. I've always said this, and you always seemed supportive up until, like, this last year. Well, I'm a very busy adult, and I've got a lot to stress about. Just because I wasn't there to hold your hand through every little thing doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Ugh, I didn't say you were a bad person. Can you please just stop putting words in my mouth? I will, once you get a job and you actually make something of yourself. You haven't so much as left the house in the last month. Yeah, because I was grieving. God, do you even care at all? Just be honest with me. Of course I care. She was my wife. <laughs> yeah, I highly doubt that. I think you're just waiting for the settlement money. I don't know what you mean. You may think I'm a kid, but that doesn't mean I'm dumb. I know that adults get life insurance, and that whenever someone is widowed, they get money. So, what are you accusing me of? Nothing, I just want you to feel a bit. Maybe even cry? I don't have to do anything for you now. You better have left the house and handed out a few resumes by the time I get home. I graduated from school about two months ago. Oh, now you're just making excuses. A lot of kids your age have already held a job for four years. Mom always supported me. She always knew that I was working towards something better for myself than a stupid office job. Again, there you go, insulting me. You know you're not my child. Yeah, you've made that abundantly clear. So if you're going to continue to live in my house, you need to get a job and you need to start paying bills. What if I already have a job? Yeah, right. You better not be talking about that stupid internet thing. It's not real money. You should just quit kidding yourself and get a job. <laughs> just because you don't understand it doesn't make it not real. What did you say? I know that because you're old and you don't understand everything there is to know about the internet. But there are jobs you can get online. 
You can work from home. That's not honest work. That's scumming people out of their own money. No, it isn't. Whatever you say, but I haven't seen a dollar of that money, so I could only guess that it was not real. Whatever. Now I'm giving you one week. One week? For what? To get a job and start paying bills. Otherwise, I'll kick you out. What? I can't even get my first paycheck in one week? I mean, at least have a normal job. Well, I guess you'd better think of something. I'm still processing the fact that I lost someone very dear to me. Can you have a little compassion? I know it was super easy for you to move on, but that doesn't mean it was easy for me to move on. Okay, quit being dramatic. Just get over it. Fine. Hey. Hi, sweetie. How are you doing? I mean, I guess you weren't doing too well, probably. But you know what I mean. Thank you, Auntie Cameron. At least one adult feels the sting of loss since she died. What do you mean? Nothing. It just feels like Chase doesn't care one bit that my mother passed away. I'm sure that's not true. Adults have a funny way of processing their grief. They've been married for like seven years. I'm sure he's really sad. That's the thing. He's not sad. Like, at all. Are you sure? Yeah. He didn't even cry at her funeral. Yeah. I thought that was a bit odd, but I didn't want to say anything. I mean, as I said, adults process grief in weird ways. Have you tried talking to him? Maybe if you explained that to him and you both talked about it, you'd feel better. I've tried talking to him, but all he wants to talk about these days is me getting a job. But what about your business? Doesn't he know about your business? Yes, he knows all about my business. I mean, I talk to him and mom about it all the time. Mom was super supportive and he didn't really say much. I think it's because he didn't quite understand what I was doing. But now, all he does is berate me and call me lazy. Oh, really? I'm so sorry, sweetie. Yeah, and now he's threatening to kick me out. What? Yeah, he said that I have a week to find a job and start paying bills. A week? That's literally impossible. Exactly. That's what I told him. Honestly, I don't even know what's up with him if I'm being completely honest. My mom didn't have the best marriage for, like, a year leading up to her passing away. Are you serious? Why? I don't know. You know, you can tell me anything. I'm your aunt. I'll always support you. And I'm also your godmother. So I'm basically your caretaker. You'll always have my support. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Okay, well, basically they were just fighting a lot. I don't really know what about, but they just had a lot of yelling matches. If I remember correctly, I think that Chase might have cheated on her at one point. No! Yeah, I was really surprised when I heard that. I didn't say anything because I thought I'd misheard. And not only that, even if I did hear correctly, I didn't think it was my place to say anything. I have to agree with you there, kiddo. I'm glad that you didn't go around talking about it, but I'm even more glad that you're telling me now. Was there anything else? I think he was being hard on her about the fact that they didn't have any kids together. I don't know why, but I've always seemed like such a big brother to Chase. I feel like he played it off really well for the first couple of years. But as we settled into a new family dynamic, it just became clearer and clearer. Wow, that's intense. Maybe you should come and stay with me. Especially if you and Chase aren't getting along. No, thank you for offering. But I really want to stay here in the city. Completely understandable. Also, I kind of want to stay in the house. You know, because it was where my mother lived. That makes perfect sense. I understand. But I also don't want you to attach yourself too much to that place. You have such a successful business already, and I don't want you to be tied down to a place already. You're young. You're 18. The world is at your fingertips. Yeah, I suppose so. Plus, my mom did want me to do a little bit of traveling. 
Exactly. Why don't you book a trip somewhere nice? I don't know. A part of me feels like maybe I should just help Chase pay the bills. That way we can stop fighting and maybe you'll treat me better or something. I don't even know why I want to do it, honestly. I just feel like I have to. Like, I owe it to my mother. I mean, she loved him a lot. Even if they did fight all last year. Yeah, that was one thing about your mother. She could see the best even in the most awful people. It was something that I really admired, but was kind of afraid of, especially when it came to men. <laughs> you mean my absent father? <laughs> no. I mean, yeah, but I was talking more about Chase. You didn't like Chase? No, not so much at the beginning. I mean, I'm fine with him now, but before, I really didn't like him. And I really didn't want your mother to marry him. Did she know that? Yeah, she did. And she was very adamant that he was a good person deep down. And I told her that if we had to go deep down to see that he was a good person, then maybe she shouldn't be marrying him in the first place. But you know your mom. She was always very caring and compassionate towards people. It's a miracle that she stayed with Chase. Honestly, he's the complete opposite. He's been religiously checking the mail to see if he got the settlement check for her life insurance. You're kidding. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was. I called him out on it, but he insisted that I was crazy and didn't know what I was talking about. Wow. This man was a real piece of work before, but now that your mother's gone, he's turned into an even worse person. Exactly, but still, if my mother liked him enough to stay with him, then maybe there is some good in there. I want to be like her and maybe try and see it. That's a slippery slope, sweetie. Yeah, but I got to try. I don't want him kicking me out of the house that I shared with my mother. That makes complete sense. Whatever you decide to do, just know that I'm in your corner. I support you 100%. Thank you, Auntie Cameron. That means a lot to me. For sure, kiddo. Are you going to tell him about your business? No, I think I want to make sure he's not all in it for the money, or whatever. Yeah, that's probably the best decision. Your stupid check's in the mail. What? Do not touch it or look at it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna look at it. You better not, or else I'll know. And tampering with my mail will send you to jail. <laughs> Why would you send me to jail for looking at the life insurance check for my own mother? I would send you to jail because you're breaking the law. The context doesn't matter. What are you planning on doing with the money? What's it to you? You don't need to know. No, I don't. But it'd be nice to know considering that you're my stepfather and that money is tied to my mother. You sound pretty self-righteous for someone who still hasn't got a job. You only have a couple of days left. Are you really gonna kick me out? This is the last house that my mother lived in. Why would you even think about kicking me out? Because it's an old rundown house. What? Do you think you're going to grow old here or something? Isn't it time you left the nest or whatever? Honestly, when I married your mother, I didn't sign up to take care of you past the age of 18. Wow. And you wanted to have children with her? I'm really glad that you guys didn't end up having a kid. Excuse me? Yeah. I'm not taking it back. I meant every word. Don't think I didn't hear you and mom screaming at each other when you were accusing her of holding back on you because she didn't carry your offspring. She had me already, and she was always content with that. She never wanted more children. She owed it to me. I married her. Is that the only reason why you married her? Of course not. I loved her dearly. Yeah, you have a really weird way of showing it. Not crying at her funeral, not mourning her for even a second, and then wagging your stupid tail whenever the mailman came by just in case he was carrying her life insurance check. You don't get to judge me. All you've done is sit on the couch and become a burden to me. I didn't sign up for you. Okay, first of all, I haven't been sitting on the couch this entire time. Second, even if I had, 
It wouldn't have mattered considering that I just lost the person I was closest to. Oh, boo-hoo. So why I lost my wife? That doesn't even compare. You've known her for seven years. I've known her my entire life. I've known her for eight years, remember? I dated her for a year before we got married. Yeah, I know. I really wish you'd waited. Then she would have seen what a total waste of space you are. Okay, that is enough. I have been nice to you and I have given you the benefit of the doubt. I have given you space and let you do your whole stupid grieving process. But I'm done. Find a job or else. <laughs> whatever. I can do whatever I want. Not under my roof you can't. Now put the check into my bedroom and leave me alone. Fine. And by the way, I already do have a job. I don't need to get another job. Scamming people out of their money on the internet does not count as a job. I've told you time and time again that you need to get a real job. Or else I'm kicking you out. If I have to explain this to you one more time, then you're out of the house. Then you won't be able to live in the house that your mother lived in. All your memories of her will be gone. How could you say that to someone? How come you're so cruel? You're an adult. You can handle it. This is real life. This is my life. And now it finally looks like it's going in the right direction. Because of the check. God, you're pathetic. If you say one more thing, I will burn all of your stuff. Fine. Okay, I can't stand to be in this house one more second with that man. I was already looking at houses before mom passed away. In fact, that was something that we were doing together. Looking at houses that I could buy once I turned 18. Well, you couldn't afford a house already. I've been working on my online business for four years. Yes, I can afford a house. That was actually my next venture, which was to get into real estate. You are one smart cookie. How can I help? Well, there was this place that we found and I checked, and it's still on the market. So I was wondering if you could be my co-signer. I need someone to co-sign for me because I'm only 18. My mom was supposed to do it, but, you know. Of course I'll co-sign for you. I was expecting to do so anyway. I just figured it was further down the road. What did Chase say when you told him? I didn't tell him. He doesn't deserve to know. Does he think he can kick me out of my mother's house? Well, I'll just buy a house that both my mother and I love. It's the best that I can do at the moment. Maybe down the line he'll sell the house and then I can buy it. But for now, this is what I need to do. I understand. Well, let me get a few things in order, and then we can go and sign for that house, yeah? Thank you, Auntie Cameron. Having you here has been a really big help. Absolutely. At least one of the adults in your life should be around to support you. I can't believe that man. His check arrived today and he told me not to look at it or even touch it. Honestly, if I didn't know better, I would say that this whole thing was planned. No, you don't actually think that, do you? No, at least not completely. Maybe in the future I'll hire a private investigator just to make sure. But for now, I just want to move out. All he said since mom passed away was that I was a big burden to him and that he didn't choose me. He thinks that I'm some byproduct of his marriage to mom. Well, I guess I'll take a load off his shoulders as he should. I support you 100%. Thank you, auntie. Okay, your week is up. Do you have a job? Ugh, I've always had a job. Just because you don't understand how the internet works doesn't mean that my job doesn't exist. So the answer is no. I should have thought that you wouldn't have been able to get a job. And nothing but a disappointment in a burden. I can't believe that your mother left you with me. Well, not that it's going to be a problem anymore. What does that mean? I've decided to sell the house and move away. You're not coming with me. No worries, I already bought a new place. Huh? With what money and with what job? You're 18, you can't buy a house. We're going to be your co-signer? 
definitely not me. Don't worry your little head about that. Everything's already been sorted. Auntie Cameron co-signed for me. And my business is so successful that I can afford to buy a house. What? Yeah. So it turns out, my not real internet job is very real. You've had money this entire time and you haven't helped me with one bill? You didn't put one dollar towards our rent of our bills. What the hell is wrong with you? I just lost my mother. I wasn't focused on bills and rent. You can't use excuses like that anymore. They're not excuses. Well, how much money do you have then? I'm not gonna tell you. Since it seems like you're only out for money these days. What the hell does that mean? Of course I'm not out for money. Your mother's life insurance check wasn't nearly as much as I thought it was going to be, but it was enough for me to move away. You're pathetic. Did you even care about my mother at all? Or were you too involved with another woman? Excuse me? Now tell me, does the new place you're moving to happen to be where you took all your business trips last year? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Sure you don't. Don't think I haven't heard every word of your and mom's arguments last year. And don't think that I don't notice how suspicious the timing of her death was. Excuse me! And don't think for even a second that I won't hire the best private investigator that money will buy in order to make sure that nothing untoward happened. You can't prove anything. Besides, I'll be hours away. What are you going to do then? You think a couple of hours of distance will stop me? There's nowhere in this world that you can run where I won't be able to pay someone to look into you. You can't do this. I forbid it. I'm your stepfather and you need to listen to me. I don't have a stepfather anymore. I didn't end up purchasing the new place. Not because I couldn't afford it, but because Chase let it slip that he was moving away. In order to fund that, I had to think that he was going to be selling the house. I was right. So I put in my bid as an anonymous buyer, and since it seemed like he was wanting more money, he was quick to accept my offer. I'll eventually move into real estate and buy houses in order to rent them out to other people. But for now, I want to take some time and make my mother's house, hers and mine again, with no trace of Chase left. As expected, Chase did move away and is now living with a woman whom I've never met. I've hired a private investigator as promised and will know within a month what really happened. I can only hope that Chase isn't too settled into his new life. Something tells me he'll have to move to a more permanent place with bars and a cellmate real soon. <laughs>